we will never leave you, even in the face of our death. The richness of our lives shall be yours. All that I have, all that I've learned, everything I feel, all this and more, I, I bequeath you, my son. You will carry me inside you all the days of your life. You will make my strength your own. You see my life through your eyes, as your life will be seen through mine. The son becomes the father, and the father the, the son. This is all I... All I can send you. Come on. Look up at the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, just a new video by yours truly regarding the most iconic superhero in the world. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Superheroes, comic books, and comic book blockbuster movies. To the average person, these are just fun popcorn entertainment for a large mass of people who gather around and watch their favorite pop culture icons duke it out with the big bad of the movie for two hours. Maybe four, if it is the Snyder Cut. Speaking of, I thoroughly enjoyed Zack Snyder's Justice League. It was a solid film on all grounds and makes the nightmare known as the Justice League fade away. But you know what didn't fade away for me? Henry Cavill's Superman. I think Henry is an amazing actor who has a genuine passion for what he does. But his portrayal of Superman is one that I frankly cannot get behind. Now this is not me bashing on Snyder or anyone actually, but rather the Superman of the modern era, this dark, violent and gritty new Superman. I grew up watching any and all media that had Superman in it. This included animated shows and movies, the Smallville TV show, and of course, the original Richard Donner Superman film starring the late Christopher Reeve. I've been a fan of Superman for decades and honestly I feel a lot of modern directors and storytellers have completely missed the point of his character. Moreover, they have completely lost the idea of what it is to be a superhero. Too often, so many superhero flicks nowadays focus too much on beating up the big baddie in an action-packed fistfight. No matter what, it always comes down to a fistfight between two strong opponents or sides. The Avengers vs Thanos, Superman vs Zod, the Justice League vs Steppenwolf. You see, it is so disappointing to see the modern filmmaker's mindset when it comes to heroes vs villains and seeing it always ending in a climactic battle. This is because it always ignores what heroes are supposed to do at the end of the day. Heroes save people. Now ask yourself this question. How many times in a current superhero film have you seen a hero save someone? Not fighting the villain or chasing a MacGuffin, but actually saving people from the ongoing destruction. Go ahead, I'll give you some time. Three, two, one. If you can't remember, don't worry, neither can I. A prime example of this lack of saving is a film like Man of Steel. Many complain of the violence and the destruction in this film as well as Superman's almost zero regard for loss of life and the absolute destruction around him. Now granted, he's just getting a hang of his powers and he's fighting Kryptonians who are seasoned soldiers. But my problem is that apart from saving someone once in a while,
he is mostly not even shown to be worried about the amount of destruction in Metropolis. He is too busy punching Zod in the sky to even care about people dying around him in droves. The Superman I know, the real hero as he is, will always save the people first. Even if he gets injured, even if the odds are insurmountable, he will always save people, no matter what. Back to your mom, son. Everything's going to be okay. You left, and I was alone. I just wanted to end the pain. You see, the character of Superman is the template for a pure hero. He's meant to represent the good in all of us. People keep talking about how boring Superman is as a character. And to that I say, pick up a damn comic book. Superman's greatest strength is never his, well, super strength, speed or invulnerability. His strength is his humanity. Despite being an alien, Clark Kent is the most human of all the heroes. Superman isn't a Jesus allegory as Snyder likes to think. Superman isn't just some larger than life unrelatably powerful figure. Superman is the dorky cheesy superhero who saves cats out of trees and gives you a wave and a smile while he does it. Just like Spider-Man, he's your friendly neighborhood Superman. He's a friend to humanity. He doesn't just simply laser blast a ship containing the last remnants of Krypton while saying, If you destroy this ship, you destroy Krypton! Krypton had its chance! And he definitely wouldn't snap Zod's neck. And of course, I hear you saying, Oh Vil, Christopher Reeve's Superman kills Zod too. Yes he did. But you know there is a big visual and contextual difference between this And this. Now 
Now you can argue that the old films are dated, and they are, so let's use another example. My personal favorite Superman film that honestly gets a bad rap, the film being Superman Returns starring Brandon Routh. I just want to compare one major scene of destruction in this film as compared to the destructive scene in Man of Steel. I want you to note the importance of priority for both versions of the same character. Get inside. It's not safe. At the end of the day, we shouldn't be focusing on the powers of a hero, for it isn't their incredible abilities that define them. Superman doesn't have to be deconstructed and turned either into an edgy badass or a messiah allegory. It seems modern culture is so eager to deconstruct without ever attempting to understand what makes something so great in the first place. Superman is meant to be a good man with the abilities of a god. He's there to help and lend a hand wherever he's needed. He will be there to inspire you and save you no matter what. Now this isn't to say Man of Steel was an abhorrent film. In fact, the moments I liked were of Clark simply trying to find his place and him being with his parents. One of my favorite scenes in Man of Steel was the one concerning the oil rig where we feel the impossibility of Clark trying to save people as the whole structure collapses around him. It's a true Superman moment right there. Or when he saves the busload of kids, risking his identity in the process. Moreover, him just being Clark Kent itself. These moments were a joy to see. I just wish it was more moments like that instead of mindless destruction. For every honest human moment, it's overshadowed by explosions and massive fight scenes. 
that is and never should be the core of who Superman is. To conclude this off, I'd like you to listen to the words of a man who knows Superman far better than you or I. He is, of course, the late Christopher Reeve. You must have a, a philosophical grasp of this, this appeal that Superman has that's more than just a cartoon character. Philosophically, how does, what, is, what does Superman represent to people? Um, a friend, and that's what people really need most. They don't need, um, they don't need uh, you know, a strong arm, you know, one-man vigilante force. They need a friend. You know, we're, we're, living, we're living in an age when people are basically afraid of contact with each other. They're afraid people live in cities. They don't even know their neighbors. They're afraid to go out in the street. Something might happen to them. Basically, technology is against you. Life is overwhelming. Even the bank doesn't know who you are. You know, and it's like we, you know, we run around scared a lot, particularly those of us who live in cities. And America was founded on the virtues of a helping hand of going five miles to lend your neighbor a donkey or whatever he needed. And I think that is that kind of virtue that's at the bottom, that's, that's the heart of Superman. The, the, the genuine love of people and that you always know he's your friend.